Listen. You can't be in a poisonous system and the government of the world is the system of white supremacy. That's the only real government of the entire planet called Earth. And it's a system that's designed to mistreat people through deception and through direct violence. Now, deception, which causes confusion, is indirect violence. Anytime somebody's trying to fool you in order to harm you, I mean, it's not like playing little child games or something like that, but they are fooling you with the intention of doing harm to you, where you're going to lose something, including maybe your entire existence. Then that is a form of violence. A person fools you. Give an example. A person says, knows that that bridge that you're fixing to cross is weak, too weak for your vehicle, because the person has made the bridge weak. They went out in the middle of the night and made, did things to the bridge to make it weak, so that the bridge will not stand the weight of your vehicle. Yes. So you come along early in the morning, happy, cheerful, going on vacation, and you're going to cross that bridge. And the person who made the bridge weak in the middle of the night comes out, gasses up your car, whatnot, and looks at you with a smile, knowing full well what is going to happen when you cross that bridge. And the white supremacists, that's deception. Yes. All right? He tells you that, hey, the bridge is open, and it's a brand new bridge, and you'll enjoy your trip, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, knowing full well the weight of your vehicle is not going to get you across that bridge, and that your, you and your vehicle and your entire family and whatnot, what you call your family, is going to fall into the water. Yes, sir. Now, the racists know that. They are good at that type of thing. They do it all over the world all the time. Set you up for failure in all areas of activity. So that's just one. Okay, so you go waving, smiling, driving across the bridge. And the white supremacist and his white supremacist associates, they look at each other and wink and say, Watch this. And the bridge falls, and you perish. And that's what they call fun. Yes. That's the white supremacist mentality. Mm -hmm. N I mean, they will help set you up. I mean, you know, on the surface, it looks like they're doing you great favors. Yeah. They're great at that. Yeah. Oh, yes. And that's in every area of activity. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, in economics, they do the same thing. In economics, set you up. And you think that you're going to be sailing, you know. Mm -hmm. You're going on, you know, hey, this is going to, oh, but see, you don't see what's coming around the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. In education, same thing. We are educating you people. Come into our schools, and we're going to teach you this and teach you that. All right? You got to be able to read. It's, it's, you should go because you don't have any options anyway. All right? Because they are going to teach you a lot of things that are very useful. But along with that, they're going to do what? That's where the poison comes That's in. That's where the poison comes See, in. When they're teaching you something, mm -hmm. they're going to put a little bit of poison in it. In economics, when they're giving you something, a stack of money, somewhere in that, they got some cyanide or something between the stacks. Yes. All right? It's poison in everything that they approach you with. Economics, education, entertainment. Oh, you want to be a black entertainer. Oh, okay. <laughs> they come on in. They dress you up, and they just say, how much money do you want? You know, you're going to make this movie, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. See, but at the same time, they're going to put just a little bit. They don't have to put much, because poison has a way of doing what? Spreading. 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 All right? So... And everything that they got all glitzy and very attractive and all painted up and all suited up and extravaganzas all over the place and whatnot, 
they put just a little bit of poison in there, and you don't even notice it, but that poison begins to spread. And the next thing you know, what you started out to be a festive occasion mm -hmm. is going to turn out to be a total disaster. Total disaster. Somewhere down the road. And now, that's in every area of activity. Right. You've got to understand the system of white supremacy, what it is, and how, and how it, it works. works. See, direct violence is when they just walk up and shoot you in the head. Okay, boom, yeah. yeah okay. That's, that's a done deal. Yeah. And, you know, that doesn't care for a call for a whole lot of explanation. You don't scratch your head about right. that trying to figure out what that's about. Okay. And you're dead. That's what that's about. Go on. Okay. Okay. Now, the other is, and that's the one that they really like, because they can stretch it out and whatnot and enjoy it more. You know, when they kill you, you're just dead. They're just dealing with a dead body now. Uh, you know, that's over right now. But when they can confuse you over decades, just keep confusing you, having you doing stupid stuff and you don't know how stupid it is, okay? And they're just laughing all the way at your stupidity. At our stupidity. Yes, sir. At my stupidity. At all black people's stupidity. Because we're supposed to be stupid forever. Okay? And how do you keep people stupid forever? Having them doing stupid things and think that they're doing something great. Hmm. And they do that through confusion. Mm -hmm. By telling you that it's great. Anything stupid that a black person does, a white supremacist will walk up and say, keep it up, all right? I mean, and stupidity to your detriment. You're actually harming nobody but yourself and other black people, all right? Mass stupidity. So they'll help you do that in all areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Anything that they see a black person has a talent for doing or has a proclivity, you know, a desire to do. Yes, sir. You know, they'll look at it and they'll help you do it as long as they can figure out a way to make it non-constructive. All right, that's the thing to watch for. Mm -hmm. It's what you're doing. Is it constructive or is it non-constructive? And you should ask yourself, if it's constructive, how is it constructive? Mm -hmm. what, is, what does it actually produce that has a constructive effect? Mm -hmm. Stay in that question mode and ask yourself these questions as you go along doing whatever it is you're doing. Is this constructive? And if it is constructive, how, how? is it constructive? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. You should ask yourself this, that question all day long, every day. Regardless of what you're doing, ask yourself, this thing that I'm doing, is it constructive or is it non-constructive? Because mm -hmm. there's no such thing as in between. Every move that every creature makes, mm -hmm. birds, bees, people, alligators, is going to have a constructive effect or a non-constructive non effect okay. on something or somebody. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work. Uh on the internet that have been presented and that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus because they didn't understand what I had written very well but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.